only rock with Spotlight in the city. And you know who I'm with? Spotlight in the city. I only rock with Spotlight in the city. <laughs> it's the cool the DJ the red alert. It's not all about me, it's all about Spotlight. Spotlight. Spotlight in the city. I only rock with Spotlight in the city. Spotlight in the city. Hey. I only rock with Spotlight in the city. Shout out to Spotlight in the city. If you don't see the spotlight in the sky and follow it to where it is in your city, then you're not like me, you're not a leprechaun. You can't find a pot of gold. Follow the spotlight and you'll get to your goal. My name is Joy, also known as Jacob Tour. I have an organization called Stop Your Bullying and what we do is adopt public schools in Atlanta. Um, God willing, we're gonna branch out to make it a national campaign, but we adopt public schools for six to eight months and we implement um, codes of conduct, mission statements, um, student um, conduct decrees, and we basically partner with the school and we go in doing group sessions and anti-bullying rallies to try to prevent bullying within public schools. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. So, how did you get involved with that? Um, so basically, it was a calling, um, definitely a calling. I got a phone call literally from the marketing director, Kenny Morrow at um, Duke High School. This was last year. We're a new organization. Um, but she basically told me that one of her students, William Mills, heard about a story of a young girl committing suicide. She was 15 years old. And he was so compelled that he wanted to do something about it. So she, he reached out to her and she reached out to me because, you know, I work in the industry. So she, she felt I had relationships to bring together to rally for this cause. So basically, um, when I heard about it, I went back and did my homework on the story, and I definitely found this YouTube video. It was about nine minutes long of this young lady, um, black and white. She wrote her story out on flashcards, and you're reading it for nine minutes. And at the end of the story, she said, "Hi, my name is Amanda. Hi, someone help me." So I dug a little bit deeper. Um, I, I learned that she drank bleach to try and cure herself, and then it didn't work. Um, her mom found her in the bathroom and rushed her to the hospital. She came back a couple weeks later and hung herself. So after like reading and watching and doing all that also i just want to add i went back to her facebook page and the comments that i read were just so heartless um they said things like it's about time and you know why did she do it sooner stuff it's just crazy stuff and so just remembering where i was as a young lady at 15 years old you know i, I was bullied before as a kid and i just couldn't understand how that was her resort like that was her option i didn't understand you know and i'm not saying her mom wasn't there but i couldn't understand where her parents were her teachers you know friends you know and also keep in mind this girl moved three times to get away from bullying wow. it turned in the cyber bullying turned into physical assault like it was just so much so you know you can only imagine after just yeah. doing homework on that i was just compelled so, so I, um, take us into when you adopt a school what does that actually consist of so um i look for bullying cases because you definitely want to be targeted so um for example forest park middle i targeted that school because i heard of a situation she with a grandmother who got arrested because her grandson came home complaining about being bullied and he started talking about wanting to commit suicide. So when I saw that in the news, it was actually in the 11 Alive news. So I had my assistant contact the administration and from an email goes to a phone call and from a phone call you take a meeting and it took us about a month and a half of going to the school and sitting down with the assistant principal and the teachers and the school officer and then that turned into a meeting with the principal and then, you know we, we, we presented our presentation and what we do in schools and videos and that turned into emails with the superintendent right and so for yeah. a course of a month and a half that's yeah. how long it took for us to get into Forest Park yeah. until we finally got the yes okay um, so when we adopt the school it's a partnership so I asked if you know we can come in with the posters and stuff like uh -huh. that if our mission statement go on the website you know just really showing that it's a partnership a true partnership so it's almost like a rally and getting you know everybody involved when yeah it like it's just a true partnership okay. like I go in like each school situation is different for example in Newton High School we did assembly rallies where the whole entire school 2700 mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. was in the gym and we had performances and speakers and all that but because Forest Park had a true issue right. I felt the need to partner with an organization called Love Redefined where they go in and they separate the school by gender so you mm. have the boys and the girls by wow. ages and then they talk oh, okay. about different issues so it's like a nine month long curriculum that they they have where each month they talk about a different subject from violence to um, messages in the media, self-esteem, different stuff. Um, and so we're in the school one Monday of every month until May. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. and so we have like the entire day. We go in wow. with these kids and have intimate group sessions and discussions and they have trained mentors that have to go through orientation mm -hmm. to wow. come in and talk to these kids and I've seen a lot of breakthroughs happen. 
um, they have counselors on hand because you never know what the kids are going to say. A lot of the yeah. time the kids mm-hmm. talk mm-hmm. about domestic violence. A lot of them confess that they may have been raped. A lot of them see talk about them, you know, seeing their mom getting slapped or right. something. Like, right. it's all kind of stuff that these mm-hmm. kids deal with. And, and just to touch on that, that's the real reason why I started stopping bullying. Like, that is my approach to it because a lot of the time kids bully because they're hurt. You know, hurt people hurt them. Mm-hmm. So you have to go and actually find what it is that's the issue. It's kind of like we break them down and build them back up. Yeah. Once we know what the problem is, we can go and fix it. Yeah. You right. know, and, and it, it starts a healing process and then they learn how to love themselves and then they're able to love another person. Mm-hmm. So it's, I, you know, my approach to it is a little different than just going in, doing a speaking panel and just leaving. You know, we spend time with it. So we salute you. Oh, definitely. I'm like so impressed.